some of the beats get a little monotonous, but it's nothing that ruins the LP as a whole, especially considering how much variety there is here. I have to recognize a great idea when it's happening, and this thing, despite its personality flaws, does a great job of fusing hip-hop with rock and electronics and pop music. We're only going to see more fusions like this in the future. I'm feeling a strong 5 to a light 6 on this thing. It's time for a review of the new Kid Cudi album, Indie Cud. Though it is not a video review, it is not a regular review, which you would usually find on this channel. I really didn't find much of anything that appealed to me on this record. It's, it's definitely something for the fans. Definitely for the fans. Kind of feeling like a strong two to a light three on this record, but... He's at such a high level of delusion that this becomes what you want to release as your album. 90 minutes of this. If I talk about this thing anymore, the migraine that this album the seed of a migraine that this album planted in my head is going to get worse. So, for my sake, for your sake, let's just call it here. I'm feeling a zero on this record. A big, fat goose egg. And the album gets by mostly, again, on not the production, not the composition, not Kid Cudi's lyrical abilities, not his singing abilities, but really more his cult of personality. But despite all of my criticisms, I will say that I think Kid Cudi is doing a better job of playing to his strengths on this album, at least. Uh, still, though, I am feeling a light to decent four on this record. I truly feel like Kanye and Cudi put one another artistically to the test on this thing, with an amazing mix of emotion, sound, and genres, all of which are super vivid, just crashing into one another in this violently beautiful display. It's like the cosmos imploding and reality melting and the, the matrix glitching. And I'm also super impressed with how forward-thinking, difficult to pin down, and futuristic this album feels too. I am legit feeling a strong nine to a 10 on this thing. Really, since he last hit us with a Man on the Moon, and I may just enjoy it more than Man on the Moon 2. Many of the issues I've had with Cuddy's songwriting and vocals in the past have mostly smoothed over here, and while his embrace of psychedelic trap may be a turnoff for some, you can't really argue that he didn't put his own spin on it, instrumentally and vocally. I'm feeling a, a decent too strong 7 on this one. It does feel a bit like, I don't know, a, a vanity project, like very low risk, so as a result of that very low reward. He is playing it safe here, he's playing in his wheelhouse, and sounds fine doing it, but I don't know if there's too much more to add uh, to my thoughts on this record outside of that. I'm feeling a, a strong six on this one.